All right, lads, welcome to Boston. A lot of people would probably consider Boston, it's like the Ireland outside of Ireland, so very proud to be here as a proud Irish man. It's a beautiful city, steeped in history and hopefully steeped in points. I've got four or five different places I'm gonna go. I put out the call on Instagram, you guys answered as per usual. So let's get down to business. A quick word from the sponsor of the video because lads, I always say the videos wouldn't be possible without the sponsor. Smokey, this is the perfect example. I'm literally in America. How are you lads? Coming at you back at Guru HQ with a quick word from the sponsor of the video. My good mates over at Surfshark. Just in case you've been living under a rock, Surfshark is a VPN, meaning a virtual private network. Basically an app slash web extension that lets you place your phone or laptop anywhere you want in the world. Well, why would I want to place my phone or laptop anywhere in the world? Okay, I don't mean physically, lads. Hashtag technology. But for example, if you're in Ireland like I am, and you want to go on the BBC iPlayer and watch Match of the Day because you're a lad and you love the football. You just open up Surfshark, change your location to somewhere in the UK, let's say Landon Town. Boom, you go from not being able to watch it in Ireland to being able to watch it because you've placed yourself somewhere else in the world. Hashtag technology. Also, Surfshark protects all your passwords, keeps everything private when you're searching. And Surfshark have a Black Friday discount. Use the code Guinness to get 85% off, plus three months for free. Now back to the beautiful Boston Pints. All right, lads, first pub in Boston, the Black Rose, AKA Roisin Dove, Oskelga. I'm fucking thirsty now. Oh boy, Jays, what a tune. What a fucking tune. Lads, these Christmas jumpers are on sale right now. The link is in the description. Perfect for heading out to the boozer over Christmas. The hats as well, perfect little stocking filler. Sell, sell, sell. I wish I was on that. And 17 samples and the grass is green. Thank you. Did you want to throw in any food or do you need uh, I'm not too sure, so I'll stick with this for the minute. All right, thanks. In jails is the British village, lads. I don't know what fucking glass that is. Notre Dame, some sort of college crack. The head, there's actually, apart from that one massive bubble, it's actually quite creamy. It's just a shame that they fucking spilt the life out of it. And you see the great domage, it counts for nothing because it was spilt. The domage is a skill. The whole skill of the domage is that you can pour it to the very top without spilling it and getting that dome over the top, so. Yeah, no points for damage here because it was just fucking poured to the max. Anyway, first point in Boston. Merry fucking shtick, miss lads. It's lunch. Actually, a pretty nice point. Wish I was on there. And 70 stone ground and the grass is green. So here's the deal, right? If you gave me that, if I was blindfolded, I didn't see the spillage, I didn't see the new style glass with the mad fucking, I think that is Notre Dame crack on it. I presume it's Notre Dame. If, if not, then sue me. I don't know colleges. But yeah, if I didn't see it and I drank it, I'd have been very impressed. But just the aesthetic, Guinness is so much about the aesthetic. Anyone who knows anything about Guinness, we're all in the pub taking our pictures on our phones like fucking wankers, putting it on Instagram. It is all about the aesthetic because you want it to look good. I know like a beer can, a beer you don't mind when it goes all down the sides because you don't even really see it and you just drink it. But well, not with Guinness I'm afraid, not with Guinness. Golden rule, do not spill it over the side. But it's freaking pretty good. It's pretty good. So, like, what does that do to the score? Do you know what I mean? Should I let the sort of lack of aesthetically pleasing qualities override the niceness of it? Niceness not being a word. It's extremely drinkable. Extremely drinkable. It's cream. Again, there was that one big bubble in the head, which kind of ruined the look of it, but very creamy very tasty still does that have that i just find the pints in america have a have a slight sweetness to them that you don't get at home and i wonder is that something that is like put in it to make it travel better or probably not it's a total guess 
Um, more guru nonsense. But I'm liking this pint, but my head is, my brain is scrambled. Like, can I give it high marks even though it was presented so badly? See the thing with this pub, right? I'm filming this the day after the New York video. So the Dead Rabbit pub is fresh in my mind. Go back and watch the New York video if you didn't. And I remember thinking in the Dead Rabbit, like this is exactly how I like a pub to be small, compact. Even though I'm a tall fella, I like the ceilings to be relatively low. I don't mean five foot and I'm down like this. But the ceilings, like, <sighs> ceilings in here are like, maybe 15, 20 feet. Like, you know, you want them to be sort of that eight, nine feet mark where it kind of feels cozy. And then this bar is just one big massive room. It's just, that's what I find with the American pubs, that there's no coziness to them. They're a bit sort of cold, like, because it's just one big open room. I can see, I, sh I don't want to be able to see the person on the opposite corner of the pub. I want to have to go through nooks and crannies and little, side rooms and I want to have to work my way around the pub when I come in to meet my mates you would think I would want to be able to find them easily but I don't I don't want to be able to find my mates easily I want to have to say are you in the snug are you in the back in the side in the front in the nook in the cranny you just walk in here it's just so open and I do not like that about a pub but anyway back to the point it's a good point it's a very good point it's cream it's fresh cream you know what I mean going a tiny tiny bit Slightly yellow maybe at the bottom, but very much enjoying this. Stick not bad either. So, verdict, verdict, verdict. The New York pints are fresh in my mind. Dead Rabbit was the last one I had yesterday, which was amazing. It's not that type of quality. It's good, but it's not that type of quality. I'll be super honest, right? If it was presented to me and it wasn't spilling all over the sides, I might have given it around a seven, four or five. I'm not gonna knock that much off because I just think that's a bit harsh, but I'm gonna bring it down to a, I'm gonna go 7.2 out of 10 for the Black Rose Roisin Dove. Very close to Fania Hall. So I'm heading from the Roisin Dove to Mr. Dooley's. I think it's actually maybe 100 meters away, not even. Uh, first impressions of Boston, and don't get me wrong, I've been here before, but it was years ago. I mean, first impressions of Boston, I might as well be in Dublin, it's so quiet. Dublin's not even as quiet. It's quiet, it's peaceful, it's tranquil. Muchos tranquilas. Tranquilo, fucking good at the old, but I won't let the Spanish boy in school. <laughs> um, but I love it. Like, I literally just came on the train today from New York. And I know, I think, I think it's a thing where Boston people hate when people compare Boston to New York. Because it's like, why would you compare them? They're totally different. It's four hours away. It's just a thing. I think Irish people come over, kind of go to both cities, and you're just like, New York is so, Jesus, in Boston. So, Jesus. So, yeah, it's absolutely lovely. But, you know, if you want that big city trail, keep our, keep our New Yorky. But it's just so nice around here. Such a nice, it just feels like a little town, Boston. Right lads, I am outside Mr. Dooley's. The, I wouldn't say by far, but definitely the most recommended pub in Boston. Don't expect it. Big things, massive things, monster scores. Could this be the best point in Boston? We'll see now. Oh, star glass. Perfect head, no bubbles. We could be on for a Gordon Lads, which is not surprising. Right, lads, Salancha. I fucking love this bar right away. A little low, so I'll shut up and I'll drink this first. Shut up the fuck and drink it. Mm. Fuck yeah. Again, I, I don't know, is, is that? Yeah, none of these are real. Can it, that feels quite small actually. Or are my hands growing? I don't think so. There's something weird about it. It's like the glass is like, 
It's like flat at the sides or something. It's like obviously kind of made for drinking, for holding it like that, but... It's like, yeah, I don't know, the glass is a bit mad, but um, it's fucking lovely. Yeah, I don't know, does that look small? That's what, she, that's what he said. <laughs> mm. Was just chatting to Stuart, I think his name was, um, the fella running the place. Again, not, nothing pre-organized. If I walk in and they say hi to me, I'm not gonna not talk to them, am I? Yeah, he was saying he's running like five of the pubs around here. I don't think actually any of the other pubs he mentioned that I'm, I don't think I'm actually going to any of them. Uh, so it's funny, you never know, like you go into all these different pubs, you never know who's running what, but at the end of the day, I don't give a shit. If I go to five different pubs in a city and they're all owned by one person, they're all owned by separate people, I don't know any of that stuff, I don't care about any of that stuff. I mean, that's just a very good point. If it was any colder, I'd say it was too cold, but it's just about on the cusp. And you'd rather it be slightly colder than normal than slightly warmer, I would think. Um, perfect head size. It's going to be a little bit of shtick, actually. Again, that glass has been through it. It's been through the mill. It's been used about 60,000 times, where you could possibly think that's gross, or you could think it's earned its stripes. It's earned its shtick stripes. Look at the little, look at the vibe in here, lads. Look at the background. Christmas time, even though it's only about the 15th of November or 17th of November. But I love Christmas, so I'm into the spirit. Oh, shtick city coming our way. And so this is the perfect shtick situation, shticky situation. Sometimes you find when you're abroad, you'll get the shtick, but the glass will be dirty when you get it. This glass was sparkling when I got it. Now again, the lovely woman behind the counter, a lovely Dublin woman, she kind of, she was looking out for the old style glass and all that sort of stuff, so, you know, she knew the crack. And again, I can't affect that. But you can tell she puts love and affection and passion into pouring these pints of Guinness and look at the result. It's no surprise. Oh, that's a nice one. Jeez, that's good. Sticky one, all right. So where do we go from here? A man or more could ever do. I'm some fucking singer, I tell you that, isn't it? It's funny, I, honestly, like when I was in New York, all I gave was, it was the seven point fucking, it was sevens all around, seven, seven, seven. And then I just gave a seven point something. And it's like, the team I think is gonna continue. Yeah, I'm gonna go 7.8. Absolutely lovely atmosphere in here. Nice, warm, Christmas, cozy vibes. This pub compared to the last pub, like, night and day. It's small, it's cozy, there's, if you feel like you're in a pub in Ireland. Right, that's pub number three. The Dubliner, again, came highly recommended. Let's see what it's all about. Right, lads, the Dubliner, uh, a rare, two rare things. The, the beer mat is like an oval, so it's like the glass just like barely fits on it. And then, as you saw, the, it's the exact same glass I've been getting over the last kind of couple of days, kind of mock of a Guinness glass, but we know it's not actually Guinness glass, but this, they have their own logo on the glass. That's ballsy now. To be fair, absolutely beautiful pub. It's only been open. I was speaking to Oren, the guy running the place, owning it, I'm not exactly sure, but he, I'm saying they only opened it in July. So the fact that it was highly recommended by the people on Instagram and it's only open like three or four months, like that's, that must say a lot about the pint. So I think it's like, it's all the same. They kind of own, they all own like a few different pubs around and all, but, and then this is a new one, but I don't care about shit about all of that. Slauncher lads, fucking slauncher. Okay, my initial reaction is that it's it's a wee bit chilly, a wee bit chilly on the willy, for my liking. You kind of get that where you you try to gulp the shit out of it, like look, 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 trying to have the fuck. That sounded a bit fucking weird. The noise I just made, but you're trying to have about the good three or four gulps. That's how you know it's a good pint. You have three or four gulps, but then 
you're kind of stopped after two because it's cu quite cold. So um, yeah, it does feel maybe a degree or two too cold, a degree or two too cold. But anyway, it's a decent nail point. Yeah, definitely very cold. Wouldn't say it's in the realm of extra cold that they do in the UK, but it's definitely colder than like, the point I just had in Mr. Dooley's was, was spot on. And it's, you know, it, that was bang on temperature wise. It's definitely a little bit colder, but what else? Head size is good. Do you know what? This place is like a mix. I've been moaning about the big, massive open bars. And I've been saying how much I love the little tight, cozy bars. This is like a hybrid version. It kind of has the big American bar feel because it is open enough. Sorry, there's fucking people having a crack behind me. How dare they? How dare they have a good time in the pub while I try to film a video? How bloody dare they? Oh my God, how? The cheek of them? They, I'm trying to film a video here, like, how dare they? Oh, there's some cheek, some nerve. How dare they come into a pub and attempt to have a good time when I'm here? Imagine I was like that. Oh, stop. But anyway, yeah, this place meshes it together because it's, it's kind of half cozy, half big open bar. So I, I do really like, uh, it could be a little bit cozier. They could fill up little spaces a little bit better, but this just kind of gives off the vibe of just, yeah, a really nice kind of upper class Irish establishment. Yeah, it's a lovely spot. Absolutely, like the detail and decor that's gone into this place is beautiful. You can kind of tell it, it does have that new feel to it. Probably needs a few years to kind of get a bit more rough around the edges as we like, but no, it's a cool bar, very cool, nice bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that bit cold for my liking. I know Oren will be watching this, the fella who greeted me on the way in. And you might say, Dara, you're fucking wrong. It's the perfect temperature. But for me, I can even feel that in my hand. It's a bit cold. Zero shtick as well, but I think that does just come down to like the detergents and all that. But the point of Mr. Dooley's a pretty good shtick, so I don't know. I just, I struggle to, I struggle to think that a pub that's just been opened can, can be that great. They're still kind of learning how to run the place, what the clientele wants, what type of clientele they're going to get. And I just don't think you can get a perfect point until you've been running the, running the pub a few years. Yes, you can come from running other pubs and open a new one, but I do still think it just needs a couple of years. I said the same thing about the Black Rock pub in Black Rock. It just opened, Guinness was decent. But you just need a bit of time and love and energy. And after a couple of years, I'm sure it'll be amazing. Nice, creamy finish. Oh, yeah, a decent point, no real shtick. But that was decent. But unfortunately, just too cold. I'm gonna give it a respectable seven flat out of 10. Just about makes the sevens. We're keeping on the seven train. I this is the maddest thing ever. Every fucking point I've had in the last two days has been in the sevens. But I just can't, I, I have to be real with my scoring. I have to, I, mean, I can't be like, well, I've given too many sevens. I have to give a six or an eight. I can't do it. I can't do it. So yeah, seven flat out of 10. Really nice bar, really nice establishment. But yeah, just too cold for me. All right, lads, what's the crack? It's gotten dark. Look at the lovely trees. I'm out around the Cambridge area. You hop on the Red Line subway for about 10, 15 minutes. And here you are. There's a pub called the Phoenix Landing just down the road. It was very highly recommended, but then it's kind of when you go around the city and you talk to different people, you kind of get this sort of, kind of the word on the street, the word from the, from the ground up. People are saying the Phoenix Landing is kind of like a soccer bar, like a Liverpool, another fucking Liverpool bar I was in Jamie Carragher's place. But it was very highly recommended, so let's see what it's got. And it's absolutely bought. I'm glad I've got my Guinness Guru hat and my Christmas jumper. Coats all separate. The Phoenix Landing. Very much Liverpool inspired. I, I don't even want to be fucking filming this shite. But we have to be fair. Ooh. Right, lads. Fucking Liverpool this and Liverpool that. The Phoenix. What the fuck's it called? Phoenix Lounge? Phoenix Rises? I can't remember. It's Lounge. Yeah, so like I said, 
people, I won't name names, but people in the previous pubs were like, Phoenix Landing, Phoenix Landing, that's what it's called. They said, that's a good spot, yeah, but it's like a football bar, it's a Liverpool bar, it's not known for its Guinness. And they said, you should go to the Druid if you're gonna go out that area. So I'm gonna, the Druid is like a 15 minute walk from here, so that's gonna probably be my final pub, even just by the name of it, sounds like a much more Irish pub. A lot of people today have said the Druid, and this is always the crack. You, you put it out on Instagram, you get a lot of recommendations, and then you kind of have to be willing when you come to, I, I don't like to like sub out pubs, but, and I haven't done that today. Honestly, the pubs today were gonna be the three I've already been to and the Phoenix Landing. I'm just adding in the Druid. Um, but like the Druid didn't get that many recommendations, but it was, it was fifth, but it didn't get enough to kind of go to. But then a lot of people around here have said it. So you really like, especially when it's a, Pub that I'm talking so much, I'm not even talking about the Guinness, but I mean, especially when it's somewhere that's so far away from Ireland, it is kind of hard going off purely just the Instagram recommendations. But I think we've done well. The pint is grand, kind of as expected. New style glass, just kind of your typical American pint, like it's grand, you know. To be fair, no bubbles in the hedge, creamy enough, but nothing special. It's actually not that creamy, but it's tasty. Like, it still has that weird sort of American twang that I can't wrap my head around. But yeah, it's all right for a Liverpool pub, what? Just having a moment of reflection for myself, lads. Don't mind me. It's mad, this sort of Guinness Guru crack. It's, I wouldn't say ups and downs, but it's just like, because you're by yourself, it's kind of, you're the only one controlling the energy. So it's like, I did the last three pubs and I was straight, like I'm not getting the train back to, I'm getting the train back to New York tonight at half nine. It's like a four hour train. So I won't get back into New York till like two in the morning. Um, and I was, then I was like, oh, well I just, cause this, these two pubs are like, a kind of a subway out of this really central part of the city. And I was like, well, I just tried to change my train to an earlier time. And then I went to try and change it. It was a hundred dollars. I said, like, fuck that. And I had to slap myself in the face. And I was like, what are you doing, man? Stick to the plan. And now I've come out here. This area of Cambridge is actually lovely. And, and, and I was in a little Mexican place eating a couple of tacos. They were shy. And I was just a bit like, mm, feeling sorry for myself, like blah, blah. And now I'm here and I'm fucking, I'm buzzing again. I'm buzzing again. And the videos aren't going to be entertaining if I'm not buzzed. If I'm just sitting here. Oh yeah, I'm so... <laughs> then the video is going to be shy. So yeah, it's up to me and only me to control the energy. And the energy is back up, baby. At the end of the day, I'm in Boston, in the United States of America, on a sponsored trip, paid to come here. Paid to come here and do this. No moaning, you moany bastard. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm sitting here in a warm pub, drinking pints in Boston. I can't even consider having a moan. Like some of you lads watching this, coming home from a hard day at the office, a hard day on the fucking building site. And, and, and me, with the audacity to moan when I'm doing this, no way, no way Jose Mourinho, no fucking way, keep her lit. Keep it. It's such an unnecessary rant full of shy talk that you probably would have wanted to skip through. Yeah, it's a cool bar. It, it, it feels like I'm in like a kind of smaller little city, like it's, yeah, it's just, it's nice. A yeah. little bit of an aftertaste off of it. Do you know something I noticed, lads? And look, I know I'm not a young lad, but when I was in LA, every time I went for a pint, I would be asked for ID. And I didn't get asked for ID once here. This has probably been the most non-talk about the pint review I've done so far. I've barely said a word about the pint because there's not much to say about it. It's fine. Head is staying creamy to the end. The temperature was grand. Uh, no stick, new style glass. But I don't really blame them for putting in a new style glass because all those other glasses, they're the old style, but they're actually not the old style. They're not the real old style, so I don't know what the fuck you prefer. But it is mad that obviously Guinness just won't give them the old style glasses over here, even though it's an option in Ireland, but it's coming back. I give it like a 6.5. It was grand, nothing to write home about. I'd have maybe one more, but a bit of an aftertaste. Wasn't that creamy. Uh, not too thick. It was fine. It was fine. And I'm united till I die.
You're gonna be up. Uh, I've been waiting for a Boston one. So. I know. I saw you went to LA. I was Get a little close up there. We're on the fly. We're doing a quick slancha. Oh shit, that's good. That's pretty good, lads. Um, so I met a couple of lads on the way in. To be fair, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't go as far as saying I'm shaking hands and kissing babies in Boston. But we've done all right. Few lads coming up. When I say a few, probably like four total. But three lads: Sean, Sean, and Adam. When I walked in here, I was having a look around. This is a super cozy little Irish pub. I was looking around, and then this fella was like, he kind of was like, give me the eyes, and I went over to him. He's like, "How are you, boy?" I was like, "Oh, this lad's from fucking Cork or something." And he's like, "How's it going?" <laughs> Turns out his name, I think he was Sean. And he was with his mate Sean and Adam. Sean had lived in Dublin for three years. And he, Adam bought me the pint. So shout out to you lads if you're watching. Uh, this is a lovely little pub. Absolutely sweating. Yeah, that's good. That's way better than, I was about to say Carragher's. It's not Carragher's. The Phoenix Landing. Much better for me than the Phoenix Landing. It's actually a lovely pint, very smooth, very creamy. The head is very white, it's extremely fresh. It's like it's where the Guinness quality control team were in an hour ago. Perfect temperature, borderline too cold, but pretty much perfect temperature. Such a nice little pub and such a nice, nice little area. I don't know if Cambridge is Cambridge a town or an area or what. Lovely, I feel like you'd, 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 if you moved over here, you know, this is where you'd meet your mate for a pint or two and have a bit of grub and it's a nice little no-nonsense pub but I just really love the vibe of the place that's good cream lads that's very good I'm trying not to be manipulated by what I was just told but your man Sean who said he lived in Dublin he said that this was his favourite Guinness in Boston but he also said this is his local so that cannot if it's your local you're always going to stand up for it but he said Mr. Dooley's after this so that's a big statement because I said Mr. Dooley's was like a 7.8 or something like that. So Mr. Dooley's was very high in my mind. This is nice, lad. that cream is really staying true to itself. It's not diminishing at all. There's no sourness off of it. It's extremely fresh and no bubbles in the head at all. I've actually horsed this into. I've told the lads at the table around me. I'm basically sitting at a table of four and there's three other lads and I was like I'll be I'll just let me sit there for fucking five minutes and they were like no problem dude take your time so I'm kind of rushing through because I'm a nice guy I'm rushing through the, the interview the review god how about druid chips okay druid chips and calamari that was lovely and I don't care about the glass the glass is irrelevant. That's gone out of my mind. It's completely irrelevant, the glass. That was very fresh, very creamy, very drinkable. And I've already had like four today. So that's a bit like when the, the dead rabbit that I did in New York, I was like, I'd already had like five pints. I'm gonna have to go off the pints for like two or three weeks now, lads. I'm fucking, I don't know. But you know it's good when you, if you're at the last, sometimes back home I'll be doing reviews and I'm at the last pub and, I'm, and if it's not a great pint, I'm literally like, oh. I'm sick of the pints, but, but I'm actually loving this and I could have another couple of these to be honest. I won't, I'm heading off, have to get a train back to New York. That was very lovely, very, very lovely. I w I'd put it just below Mr. Dooley's, probably like, I can't even remember what did I give Mr. Dooley's, but I would give that a, I'd go 7.7, 7. but I'd go 7.7. .7 for the druid a lovely pint right lads that's going to do it for Boston another major city ticked off to list I still can't believe I'm saying I just did the best pint of Guinness in Boston what an absolute life thank you so much lads for supporting the channel like you do and we'll see you in the next video America fuck yeah